So I'm Bernard Martin from the Steampunk Chronicle. I'm here with a, one of the authors here at uh, MacroCon 2013. He's going to give me his name so I don't butcher it. <laughs> Balogun OJ Tade. Right. So Balogun is a one of what we call the sword and soul authors. They write a lot of steampunk based uh, science fiction with a very African uh, uh, bent to it or inspiration. And it's a new, effectively a new twist on steampunk that's getting a lot of uh, uh, traction right now. And we want to talk to him about some of it. Now what's your current book that's released right now? Uh, well, right now we have Steampunk and that's an anthology of uh, 14 authors who have written short stories in the steampunk genre, which is steampunk from a black slash African perspective. Okay. And you've also got a lot of other books you've written that are also in that same genre as well, right? Yes. And what um, are those? Well, I do Sword and Soul and Steampunk. Okay. Sword and Soul is actually heroic and epic fantasy ah. from an African perspective. Okay. And in that genre, I have Once Upon a Time in Africa, Kikanga, the anthology, which is uh, fundraiser for the role playing game Kikanga, the, role, the sword and soul role playing. It was branching out a lot of places then. Definitely. So, how'd you get into the steam funk from the sword and soul? Okay, I, well, I first wrote, my first novel was actually Moses the Chronicles of Harriet Tubman, right? which is steampunk. Okay. And the way I got into that was I grew up watching the Wild Wild West television show with my mother, my mother's right. huge fan. Okay. And I knew when I wrote something, I wanted to write something like that. And Harriet Tubman is one of my heroes, so I wanted her to be um, the protagonist. Okay. So I, that's how Moses the Chronicles of Harriet Tubman came about. And I, I gave Harriet these gifts, which are pretty much real. She was an extraordinary person. And then I threw in other people, you know, threw in John Henry, threw in different characters from history. Oh, great. So uh, with the Steampunk Anthology, uh, where is that going to be headed? Is that a one-off, or is there actually going to be more uh, in that line, headed out? Well, we plan for there to be more in that line, but the next Steampunk project is actually a film, Rite of Passage. Oh, well, tell us more about and, that. Um, well, Rite of Passage uh, is about the city of Nicodemus. There's a town in Nicodemus, Kansas. And in this town, in our universe, uh, it's protected by four people. Bass Reeves, Harriet Tubman, uh, a woman named Dorothy who is Harriet's student, and John Henry. Ah. And they're the protectors of this town, so it's it's a flourishing town because anyone who dares to try to attack that town, well, they have to deal with the, with the great protectors. And, <laughs> and Nate Love runs there. Nate Love was a famous rodeo um, owner and rodeo rider. And he is in competition with P.T. Barnum. He's in P.T. Barnum's pocket. He's getting really popular. And uh, P.T. wants him out of the way. So he chases him all the way into Nicodemus. He can't go into Nicodemus, so he hires his man Ross, and Ross hires some people with gifts themselves to go into Nicodemus and try to. Well, that sounds like a very intriguing story. I'm looking forward to it. And that's an actual film. Is that going to be entered in any, uh, do you have any uh, timeline for that film being produced? We, we start shooting in uh, August. Mm -hmm. We're doing it in partnership with Georgia Tech. Right. So um, they're, I set it up in vignettes so students can work on the project oh. as well. So um, they start the new, uh, the fall season in August, and we'll start shooting it. Right. So is this going to be a thing we can expect in a year or six months or? About a year. Oh, great. Uh, we're looking to actually preview it at, we, we do a film festival every year there, and uh, we're looking to do it at the next film festival. Well, that sounds fantastic. I'm hoping we'll get a chance to be there so we can see it. Yeah, I hope so. All right, so this is Bernard Martin with Steampunk Chronicle, and we're once again at NACRCon 2013. Thanks.